Hello there, YouTube and people watching and subscribers and fans and listeners and all those people. Um, I decided to get back on the tutorial schedule uh, just because um, I have less work now. I am a second semester senior at high school and I'm into college, so I figured why not get back and uh, start making tutorials for you guys again. Um, on my Facebook page, on the Biza page, I posted um, a status saying that um, I had come up with a really good snare sound, and I did. I'm pretty happy with it, so I figured why not uh, show you how I layer my snares and how I do my drum production in this remix that I'm working on. So let's get right into it. So here are my drums. Right here I have a contact kit. I'm using um, Abbey Road Modern Drummer for the cymbals and I'm layering two kicks. Uh, they are both Vengeance samples and I process them with EQ, compressor, um, and EQ on this layer. And for snare I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers to make the right snare and that includes a little bit of um, a little bit of space design for for the uh, for the reverb. So let's listen quickly to what the drums sound like, and then I can sort of take you through my thought process or how I sort of came up with the snare sound. <laughs> So the kicks, um, one kick has, has more of the bass presence and is sort of the punch of the kick, which would be this one. And um, I just use a compressor preset, the type R kick drum, and then bring the mix down to about 60%, um, between 60 and 70%. That usually gets a nice punch. And for the top end of the kick, I'm using another sample, which is just more of like uh, sort of hi-hat sound uh, type layer. So that's just EQ'd. Um, I EQ out the bass and then boost the highs a little bit and get rid of some of the, the mud in the middle. And then all I did was duplicate that EQ, except in this one I sort of leave it more flat and boost the top end a little bit more. I could actually do, do without a little bit more of that low end. So those are the, the kick layers and together they sound like this. So for my snare, um, I did a lot of stuff with this. I, For me, personally, it's a waste of time to try to make uh, your own snares. I know a lot of people do. But uh, it's, it's not worth the effort when you can find really great samples and layer them in such a way that you get the snare you're looking for. So what I did is, um, this is, I think, one of that six samples that he gave away in a sample pack. And this is... Um, some other sample I have from somewhere, I can't remember. But what I did is I did a fade in on both and I panned them right and left and I used these, um, I panned this one to the left and this one to the right and I cut the all the lows out uh, from 270 down on both. And these are just room, so when you listen to them you can hear that it's just like a nice little room. And what these do is it adds a nice texture to the snare. Um, Remember to, to cut out the low end on both, and it just adds a nice uh, thickness to the snare. Uh, so that's what I did with those. And this sample is um, from one of the Vengeance Electro packs, I think. It's a nice little snappy little clap. That's what that sounds like. Um, and remember I saw a dubstep tutorial online that, that um, the person who did it gave away some samples, so I picked this one up um, off YouTube somewhere. Can't remember. But... And what I did with this is um, EQ'd out the bass, gave, gave a little boost on the top end, and I sent it to a bus. And to do that, you click and hold, select the bus, and then whatever you end up picking, say bus 7, you can put whatever you want on there. And for that one, I went to spaces, medium spaces, halls, space, uh, 2.0 second space reverb. And then all I did was take the EQ and cut out the bass and cut out the mids, or the, the high mids. And that gave a nice little, nice little room. And then I cut out the attack as well by doing a fade. You can type in a number here, like 500 or something, 
um, or you can use the fade tool which is here and then when you select it you press command and, and draw in a fade uh, so that but basically by taking out the attack I, I can pick whatever sample I want to be the punch of the snare um, which is what I did here so next uh, I have the punch of the snare and the the most the attack I would say so that's all like pretty much highs and mids and a nice punch at 200 you can see the, the EQ it, like punches really hard right there all right so this sample is the is the main attack of the snare and I cut out um, just the bass presence and let the let it speak for itself at around 2 to 250. So that's a nice punchy snare sample. I forget again where I found it. And then to get even more punch, I duplicated the sample and then cut it really short and gave it a, a quick fade. And what I did with this is I did an EQ. I cut out all the highs in the mids, so it's just the punch of this of the snare that sort of that comes through when you put your hand on the speaker cone or whatever and you like, can really feel the snare, um, that's the frequency range around 200 is where, is where that is. So I cut out the lows, cut out the highs, and um, I compressed it. I used the tight kit preset, I think with a mix, no, 100%, um, and I maybe adjusted a couple things, but this preset usually works well. And then I put an enveloper um, to give it a little bit more attack, and I just used the add more attack preset. Um, just because it's the one that I needed. <laughs> and then I compress it again. Um, I think with the same preset with lower mix. Nope, 100% mix. Um, but you can sort of adjust that as you see fit. And it's like this punchy little like bass thing. And that's all you really need. And if you let the sample go, like draw out longer, um, you, it gets like this weird sound to it. It sounds like a fart almost, <laughs> like a distorted fart. So you want to have it like nice and snappy. And then the last layer is what originally was this, but a different sample. Um, it's sort of like a little bit of that bass presence, but I, I, I ended up just turning it down a lot. Um, it's almost so quiet that you, it's not really important anymore. But so if you put all the samples together, um, you get a nice, thick, wide snare. Could almost turn the uh, this one down a little bit. So yeah, that's what I did to uh, layer the snare. And you, it's hard to really find that one perfect sample. I, I know it's possible, but for me, I, I like um, refining the sound and sort of picking the right uh, samples to sort of construct my own sound. And I end up getting something that I, that I think ends up being a lot better. Um, and sort of sticking with one sample and processing it over and over and over. So I think I'm going to try to keep this shorter than some of my other videos. Um, try to end it under 10 minutes. But um, I guess the last thing I would add real quick is before is on the uh, on the ten, on the hi hats and s symbols and everything. Uh, cut everything below. I would say like 300 at least. I wanted a little bit of body in my simple symbols. <laughs> Um, I know a lot of people go up to like as far as 600 or 500, but I wanted a little bit of a little bit of body. And um, yeah, that's that's what I did with those. Just EQ, duplicate the the cut. Actually, wait, no, I went a lot higher with it, um, up to 500 on the second one. So, and then just a little bit of compression and lim limitation um, to to sort of balance down the transients a little bit yeah but that's uh, the new drum production for this remix I'm working on uh, I'm gonna be releasing it relatively soon so you can keep your eyes open on the uh, Visa SoundCloud and on the Visa Facebook page um, which I will have links to both of those in the description but uh, I guess I'll just leave it at this. Um, I'm glad to be back. I'll be trying to keep a more um, frequent schedule with uh, the tutorials. 
and um, let's get back in the swing of things. Leave any comments in the description or <laughs> in the leave comments for what you want um, me to work on next, uh, what you want to learn, um, and what you sort of want me to explore with you guys. So thank you for watching again. Um, I'm glad to be back, and I will see you next time.